Many of you all who've been watching my videos for quite some time have probably seen me say somewhere in the midpoint of the videos, this is how you can collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties. It's my whole spiel with my course. But I figured, I said, you know what? Let me let the public know that it is possible to collect their international and domestic record and publishing royalties without a middleman like Song Trust or TuneCore Publishing or CD Baby Pro at all. Yes, you can get this done just like any other publisher and record label out here on the planet that doesn't use automated companies like these. Now, you you will need a couple of accounts like a PRO account and some distributor and an LLC and things like that. And we'll get into that a little bit in today's video, okay? But just know that this is totally possible to get done without the middleman. And I'm gonna explain how coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. I'm really excited to showcase today's video, so let's hop right in. Now this is the easy way right here. The easy way out which most artists choose is suitable if you're not ready for the challenge I'm about to discuss. The companies listed below aren't the only ones that can solve your immediate problem, but as you start earning more independently, you'll see the value in controlling your administration rights, okay? So plus you'll realize how simple it is to collect this money on your own. Now, for those of you all that I've spoken to that have actually earned money, because a lot of people that go through my course and they're like, hey, we got it set up and that's good. But then there are those who are actually earning money and they're not having any problems. Don't need to call nobody. Money just flows through the accounts and drop in. The easy way is you can go to these companies. Song Trust, CD Baby Pro, TuneCore Publishing. Cool, man. And, and, and if, that, if that, make, that floats your boat, it makes you comfortable. I'm not telling you not to do it, but I'm telling you, save your money because as you begin to grow, because I believe that you will become the big artist that you want to be. And when you do, you don't want anybody who isn't really actually doing any heavy lifting work to have their hands in your money pot. You get what I'm saying? Now, here's the way I like to do it. The DIY way, which is really the standard way everybody's been doing it in the music industry since before Song Trust came along. Now, in America, you face the most complex system for collecting your domestic and international royalties but it's definitely achievable, okay? How do you think this was done before Song Trust? Here's what you'll need. To collect professionally, you're gonna need an LLC. And I'm gonna answer that question in your mind in a second. For publishing money, you're gonna need a PRO, you can take your choosing. And if you're with GMR, you probably got some other publishers and stuff. But anyway, an MLC account, Harry Fox account, Music Reports account, a Sound Exchange account, and your distributor of choice because you gotta get your master rights revenue. Now, I know you're thinking, well, wait a minute. Are you telling me I don't need an LLC to collect all of this money? I'm telling you that you don't. It's not going to take you long before the money comes in. You got to do the copyright registrations and you grow as an artist that it is going to cause a bunch of hang up for you. It's going to become very difficult. Every one of these accounts that you have listed, you got to go and you got to switch them all around to represent the company. So all the work that you just put in to set up the company, you now have to change it again. And anything that you have in your name, any lawyer that you have will tell you, hey man, all them copyrights that you registered for yourself because you wanted to be the whiz kid at the record business and you put it in your name, uh-uh. We got to switch those to the company. Now you got to go back to the copyright office and do it all. So I'm warning you, that's your warning. The worst time this comes is when you don't have time to do it and then somebody else does it for you and then it's a nightmare. Now, how will 99% screw this up? Many of you upon releasing your music will be persuaded by your distributors to check a box, authorizing them to collect 100% of your royalties. They promise no hassle, just sit back, watch the money flow in. In reality, they're doing exactly what you could be doing, collecting all your money from the accounts we talked about previously. But here's part two. 99% of you will screw this up because the other half will mess this up by trying to register for all these accounts immediately after watching this video without the pro proper order of operations for correct verification. This, I, I, I literally gave you everything that's in my system, but you don't actually know how they're intertwined for verification purposes and why you want to do it this way. That's what you don't know yet. So I know a few of you are going to say, man, I'll just sign up for all them accounts right now. Yeah, but I know what's going to happen. Okay. And I'll tell you in a minute, registering with these organizations independently of each other will complicate your royalty collection significantly and could take months to resolve. Actually a little longer than months. We might be talking about a whole year, which is a messed up time when you're trying to grow and build something. 
Now, it took me three years to figure out the right exact sequence, a method only known by those familiar with my 60 day record label approach, as they will attest in the comments below this video. If you go and you do this out of order, I'm telling you right now, man, it is a headache. And most of you all called me, hey man, so I gotta do this step, right? Yeah, but did you do that one? No, I didn't do that one yet. Wait a minute, do you have the book of the course? No, nah, man, I don't have the book. I just, um, you know, I just started, you know, I've been watching what you've been doing and I started doing the registrations on you. Oh, okay, that's what happened. So I'm telling you, 99% of y'all will take what I'm giving you and I'm giving you valuable information. And then you'll go do it on your own time and then it won't match up in the systems. That's the secret. Their system's matching up with everybody else's. And you gotta understand that. I understand that. That's why I told you it took me three years to figure out the exact sequence so nothing would be red flagged. So I got you covered. Now, but what about international royalties? Here's the big question. American PROs, the Harry Fox Agency, and Sound Exchange all have international collection agreements. Boom, there it is. Let me, let me read it again. I might read it twice. American PROs, the Harry Fox Agency and Sound Exchange all have international agreement collection agreements. I'll read it one more time. American PROs, the Harry Fox Agency and Sound Exchange all have international collection agreements. All you need to do is authorize them to collect on your behalf. This covers your international performance royalties, your international mechanical royalties, and your neighboring rights royalties, your international neighboring rights royalties. I'm not playing with you, that's really what it is. So they can get your international money. I, it was me and a couple, I'll give you a story. Me and a couple folks were on a webinar with Sound uh, Song Trust. I thank God, we were. it was only about international royalties. And we started asking the questions, but yeah, but can't you get your international royalties yourself? And the guy kept babbling saying, no, if you wanna get international royalties, you gotta come through Song Trust. And we kept egging and asking and asking because some of us were really smart in that panel. And they said exactly what I just told you. They're called, actually, I'm calling them international collection agreements, but they're called reciprocal agreements. And their backup to it was, well, you know, you can't always trust the reciprocal agreements. How so? There are thousands of real publishers who use the reciprocal agreements every day. The problem is, they want to sell you the dream and the belief that you can't do it yourself. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy and I'm not gonna do that for you. I am gonna tell you that this took me work though. So, you know, I built the system for it, but why control your administration rights? Now, two words here are sync royalties. If an agent wants to clear a, a song for sync and you're using these organizations by law, the agency must contact, say, Song Trust, okay? They take their 15% cut because they represent you and then you'll receive your money. Now money in sync moves fast and could reach your pockets in 48 hours, but not with an AI publisher like the ones mentioned earlier. I may call them automated publishers. So Song Trust will take the phone call, they'll clear it and they say, yeah, of course they're gonna clear it. It's gonna put money in their pocket. They don't care. They're not gonna negotiate with it or nothing. Oh, this is it? All right, drop it in the, in the can. You send, here's the, here's the, the, the bank account code, wire it over, and then we'll take our cut and give them theirs. When they do it on the next cycle of royalties, when in actuality, that money could have been in your pocket within 48 hours, a week, two weeks at the most when you're dealing in sync and it's not, and it's an upfront sync, right? But we waiting on Song Trust to drop us some cash that we got to get each quarter. Or maybe we missed the quarter and we got to do it semi-annually now. You see what I'm saying? And that's just one half of the administration rights that you're giving away. The other half is this. If you're going to sign up for these companies, CD Baby Pro, Song Trust, TuneCore Publishing, whatever have you, and you're going to let them collect on your behalf, you got a middleman in place. And if you're gonna let the money drop in the in their pockets in the first place, cause you still gotta do the registration on their site, wouldn't it make more sense to do the registrations on your own? So I'm letting you know, this is not hard. This is not complicated. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just letting you know that, look, man, we've been doing this as OGs in the game without Song Trust and the likes thereof for a long time. You don't need them. So why do it my way? True, when you're just starting, you might not make much in publishing, but all that money can be deposited into your account without any middleman interference, as I just said. So secondly, if you ever wanna strike a deal, and this is a kicker, with a real publisher, you'll need to remove all your works from their catalog as you're not under contract and transfer them to the new publisher. Lastly, you won't have to query 
a middleman about your money. As long as you register your songs correctly, you shouldn't encounter any issues. I know I don't. All I do is just look at the statement. Okay, cool. And when I want to get in depth, I just really scan through it. But other than that, for the most part, I let that money stack up because it's technically your retirement. And I'll talk about that later in the month. Okay. So therefore, here we go. If you are a producer, an artist, a singer, songwriter, new music exec who wants to build your record or publishing company in 60 days or less without searching all over the internet for the how to's and you want to do it properly without any red flags and mistakes, I built this thing called a 60 day record label just for you. And we're going to build a robust company, which is that LLC I talked about. So you can have the perfect foundation to actually make some real money in this game. You'll learn how to play the game via contract. So you're not looking crazy and getting lost in the sauce out here. And of course, as you know, you'll be able to collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. This course is foolproof. All you got to do is follow the instructions. I have had nobody have any real serious questions about this course at all. If you fall and stumble, you can always book a call with me. I'll help you up and we'll get to the finish line together. Okay. Now, if this is your first time watching the channel, please grab the free stuff below 10 major steps to increase your record labels profits. A free split sheet is included with the download, but registering yourself looks like this. It brings you your money faster. It reduces headaches and keeps you prepared for future deals. Plus, let me say this. At each one of these organizations, you have customer service. At the other organizations, you do not have customer service. This is the number one reason why people call me like, yo, man, I had a deal with them, you know, with Song Trust or TuneCore Publishing. Nobody picks up the phone. It's all email. MLC picks up the phone. BMI, well, you know, they pick up the phone. ASCAP picks up the phone. MLC picks up the phone. Harry Fox is only email, but you really won't be emailing them that much. Sound Exchange picks up the phone. You good you, if you do it yourself. But if you attach an automated publisher, it results in less money for you, ties up your funds, and ultimately causes you to lose control over your business operations. And I don't want you to lose control over your business operations. So I want you to do this yourself. And as you grow, then you can pick up the phone and call a bigger, better publisher that will actually put boots on the ground and work for you when you need them to versus an automated publisher who is just sitting there collecting a check. All right, music money makers, this is where we want to be. So if you were struggling with the fact of how does he actually say you can get your international money and domestic money at the same time, you now know, as I've been saying, that it is totally possible. Okay, and if you want to know those secret ways or the, the, the secret sequence I have within the 60 day record label course so that you can get it done flawlessly, please make sure you jump into that course right below. All right, music money makers. So if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60 day record label course, download the free stuff below, book a call below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.